Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for another Elite Flies video. I'm Sam Bailey. Uh, this is a little video on how to fish the leaded blob. My leader is five pound fluorocarbon, about 20 foot. And a sunburst leaded blob on the point, size 10. Um, this fly was introduced to it, I think, by a magazine actually about 15 years ago. I believe it was Peter Appleby that invented this approach, this, the single leaded blob. Um, fantastic method. Um, why is it leaded? I think it's leaded for different reasons. It sets quickly in the water. It's only lightly leaded. Uh, it turns over nicely. The bit of lead does help cast in a little bit. Um, there's more movement in the water, I think and you can keep in touch with it, you can feel the takes a bit better. So I'm using, yeah, 20 foot of five pound fluorocarbon. Um, if you're having problems casting that, I suggest a piece of uh, copolymer, about two or three foot copolymer, and then you can have the rest fluorocarbon. That little section will, will help to turn it over. Uh, and it'll also give you a bit of stretch as well to play fish and to strike. Um, been using this method for a long time. I had a really good session on Eleanor once with it in a match a long time ago, about 12 years ago when I used to fish and there was a well-known international angler next to me actually on the next peg and I banged two fish out on it and he said, oh stupid fish, stupid fish taking a bluff. Actually not so, you'll catch resident fish, you'll catch you know any fish basically on this. Um, it's quite a stealth approach and you're not ripping it back, you're fishing it quite slowly. I fish mine like a buzzer. Um, when you first cast it out, cast as far as you can. Give it, I'd say, 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds to go down. You will get fish on the uh, drop. You have to watch the line if it goes away, if you get a take, strike, and then you just, for me, I'm just twitching it back, twitching it back, little pauses, stuff like that. If I get a take, if I feel a fish, I keep retrieving, I keep retrieving until it goes solid. Um, you only strike on the drop if you see the line move. On certain days they want it fast, so fair enough, cast it out. You can pull it back, you can roly-poly, stuff like that, but generally I'm fishing it very slowly, like a buzzer, and of course I'm using a floating line with it. You can use a slow intermediate uh, on deep waters or if the fish are really deep, but 90 percent of the time floating line. Let's give it a go. Like I said, you want to cast it out as far as you can. Your glasses on, safety first. Um, did you see that at the end? Don't know if you saw that a little. I just pulled the line back a bit just to make sure that it turns over nicely. watching for takes on the drop. I say I give it 20, 30 seconds and then I'm going to start retrieving. Little pulls. I'm not ripping it back. You can have pauses too. I like to have pauses. It drops and look through the layers again.
pretty small, about three pounds. A little bit of a hang was I had a tape then. Again, let that go down and watch for takes on the drop. Like that. Can't get them all, can you? But you get the idea. Rather than moan about it, get your fly back out there and catch another fish. Don't forget the little pull at the end, turn it over. So I mix it up, little pull, bigger of eight. Fishing it really slowly. On its day, this is really unbeatable, this method. But it will always catch fish. Another tip is make sure that you fan cast in the water, don't cast in the same place every time, cast a new fish. If you like this video I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe and like the video. Thank you, see you in the next video. Oh, one on, one on the pull then. Oh.